What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Q and today I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet because I swear I've made this video like two or three times and I keep having issues with it. So we're just try to keep it short and sweet. I, I'm gonna tell you something that you may not know about me and that's that I'm cheap. I'm the, I'm the type of person that'll go on Amazon and when I'm trying to order something I'll look and see what the cheapest one is and then I'll go like a couple of steps above that you know and get the one that has like the best stars I'll read the reviews from you know the other cheap bastards who don't want to <laughs> pay a crazy amount for something and then I'll just go with, go with that one okay you may know if you've been watching the channel that I recently I built my first PC and I bought my kind of dream monitor the LG C1 and so I'm, I'm trying something different now okay I'm trying to buy like a quality product and then hopefully I have it for a while and I don't have to replace it so I figured hey I just got my quality monitor I got my quality PC let me go ahead and get a quality mouse and keyboard also fun fact I didn't even have a keyboard so I've been using my work keyboard so I, I needed one anyway and so these are hands down the most expensive keyboard and mouse I've ever purchased so I got the MX Master 3 amazing mouse and the MX keys I also got the the palm rest but you honestly I don't think you really need that I will tell you that this mouse is amazing just to let you know the price the price for both of them together was $219 well, that's how much it is on Amazon, at least right now. And if you get the Palm thing, this I think is like $20. So in theory, the whole set is like $240. The mouse itself is $100. The keyboard is $119. So, you know, just so you know what you're getting into. <laughs> But as far as the mouse, I love it because it's kind of, it's got like a really nice weight to it. And it's got this, um, the side scroll wheel right there. It just feels quality. I don't, I don't even really know how to explain it. I think it may just be because it's heavy and it's kind of solid. But the mouse and the keyboard both have a feature where you can link them to multiple devices. So like it has like this one, two, three on the bottom of the mouse. And then on the keyboard, it also has buttons like that. So you can Bluetooth sync this to, you know, multiple devices. And it also has it where you can, through the mouse and the keyboard, Logitech has a, um, a program called Logitech Options that lets you, it has a program in it called Flow where you can move stuff from computer to computer with your mouse and keyboard without having to like switch anything over it. It will just work between your computers. So that's super helpful. The keyboard itself is um, actually pretty heavy. It's got a, like a good weight to it, which I like because I'm not constantly like the other keyboard I was using I'd end up pushing it around a lot you know like sometimes when you're typing on it it kind of slides this one's very grippy um the keys are kind of concaved and it feels really nice on your fingers the keyboard has this backlighting that I swear and I guess it has sensors because whenever you approach it or you put your hands above it it starts to light up which I wouldn't think would be like a big feature I would care about but it is the coolest thing it makes it feel even you know more quality plus um I happen to get the one that has a number pad they do have one that comes without the number pad I think it's just like called the MX mini or something like that I'll add a link or look for that one also they also have one that's kind of like a Mac version that has the like that sort of a uh, platinum silver and black color that they use on a lot of the, the Apple laptops and Apple products but yeah, also through the Logitech Options program, on the keyboard on the top row, you can customize those buttons and you can go into different programs and customize what each button does in that program. And you can do the same thing with the mouse, which is super helpful. So in Chrome, my mouse does something completely different than when I'm in like, you know, when I get in Premiere, I can customize what I want each button to do, which saves me so much time. So I completely understand why people say this thing is like a like a workhorse now for productivity. That's about all I've got. It connects easily. Oh, it comes with the uh, a little dongle also. Each one, the mouse and the keyboard, both come with one, but you don't even need them because, well, you can connect through Bluetooth, but also you only need one of these because both devices can sync to one of these chips. So that's even cooler to me. So I have like a backup in case I ever need it. But yeah, I would definitely recommend this mouse and keyboard so far i have been loving it i just don't want to mess it up you know <laughs> even though it feels real solid like i doubt i'll be able to mess it up but i'm just kind of loving it also um uh this mouse pad is uh or the the wrist pad is kind of garbage okay I'm, <laughs> of all of them that would be the only thing i would say like i mean i got it just because 
you know, I figured it was part of the set, but I would say if there's anything you leave out that you don't need, you, you don't really need the wrist pad. It doesn't really provide a lot of cushion. I guess it's nice to have just for the look and it is something to set your wrist on. But to be honest, like the padding is not that great. It's not much more comfortable than my desk, to be honest. Well, yeah, that's about it, man. Short and sweet. Most expensive mouse I've ever owned, hands down. Definitely most expensive keyboard. I know there's probably like way more expensive keyboard and mouse combos out there because I know they, they have the customizable ones that you can change stuff out. But I'm just talking like for like a base level keyboard, that is this is the most I've ever paid for, you know, anything. But so far, it feels worth it. And it feels like my PC and my TV, I feel like this may last me a good while. So I'm happy and I would definitely suggest it. If you're looking for one, I would definitely try it. Um, I'll post the links in the bio if you want to try to grab you one. And uh, as always, man, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys. Don't make it weird. I guess that works.